Okay, next is the Pearson product moment relation coefficient or commonly known as the Pearson's R. So, the formula niya ay ito, R is equal to N multiplied by summation of XY minus summation of X multiplied by summation of Y all over square root of N multiplied by summation of X squared minus summation of X squared. Multiply by n summation of y square minus summation of y square. So, medyo mahaba yung formula, pero madali yan. Uh, madali lang na may actually just substitute. If you already identify the value of uh, the variables, then substitute lang, then you can use that later naman. So, madali yun na siya, uh, medyo solve. Kaya naman natin ginagamit ang Pearson's R. So, if we are going to compare the means, of two different variables. Kung meron pa sila ang correlation, uh, kung gaano pa ka taas or patindi yung correlation ng dalawang magkaibang variables. So, for example, ay Uh, for example, the time spent in studying by uh, 6 grade 11 students. Ang bawa, makikita ko ng 6 students. Student 1, student 2, student 3, student 4, student 5, student 6. Okay? Next, so yung isang student na yan, uh, yung mga student na yan, so kinek ko yung uh, number of hours na ini-spend nila sa pag-aaral. So lumabas, halimbawa sa student 1, uh, mag-aaral siya ng isang oras. Student 2, mag-aaral ko oras. So, student 3, mag-aaral ko oras. 6. So, magkakay ba ang uh, oras or magkakay ba yung number of hours na yung spend nila sa uh, pag-aaral. Pero, lumabas na ang result ng test nila ay syempre magkakay ba rin. So, yung nag-aral ng isang oras, ang nakuha niya is 5. Yung nag-aral ng 2 hours Ang mga nito ay 10. Kung nag-aral ng 3 hours, ang nakuha niya ay 15. And then, 15. And then, 25. And then, 25. So, alimawa ito yung table na kinalabasan ang observative mo. So, namili ka or meron pang anong presidente na pinag-aralan. Kung isang student, isang oras siya, nag-review. Kung pangalawang student, 2 hours, nag-review. Kung pangalawang student, 3 hours, kung apat, 4, mga 5, anong 6. Then, ito yung nakuha nila ang school sa exam. So, student 1, 5, student 2, 10, 15, 15, 25, 25. So, ayan nyo, i-check natin kung meron bang uh, relation o gaano uh, yung strength of correlation ng hours spent sa scores nila sa exam. So, ang gagawin naman natin dyan, we just have to complete the table. So, Yes, to, uh, sa next column, i-multiply lang natin si x and si y. Sa next column, kunin lang natin si x here. Sa next column, kunin lang natin si y here. So, ayan yung mga kailangan natin. Nagagamitin natin yung uh, formula ng Pearson's R. X, x, y means we have to multiply the value with x 
sa y mo, dito sa y. So, 1 multiplied by 5 is 5. 2 multiplied by 10, 20. 45, 60, 145, 25, 210. And then, kunin mo lang yung Okay, mga yan na X square naman, two square lang natin is X. One square, one. Two square, four. Three square, nine. Four square, sixteen. Five square, twenty-five. Six square, thirty. Sa so, Y square naman, two square lang natin si Y. Five square, twenty-five. Ten square, one hundred. Two square, Two two five, twenty five squares, six two five, thirty five squares, one two five. So now we have to get the sum. Uh, sum of x, one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six. Then uh, summation of x is equal to. 21, ito na Summation of y is equal to 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 15 plus 25 plus 35 105 Summation of x, y 5 plus 22 plus 45 plus 16 plus 125 plus 210 465 Combination ng x square 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 19 1 Combination ng y square 25 plus 100 plus 25 plus 25 plus 65 plus 125 So that is 2, 4, 2, 5 2, 4, 2, 5 Medyo malabo lang ito Ayan, so since nakuha na natin yung sum ng x, sum ng y, sum ng x, y, x squared, and y squared, pwede na natin siya mag-substitute dito. So hindi ko lang i-rewrite yung formula, automatic mag-substitute na ako. So r is equal to summation of x, y, uh, n para n. Ano yung n natin? Ilang bang student ang ginamit ko? We have 6 students. So, ang n natin is 6. Multiply by summation of x, y. Ito yung x, y. So, 400 is divided. Multiply by 4, 6, 5. Minus summation of x. Ito, 21. Multiply by summation of y. 105. All over square root of again we have n six multiplied by summation of x square and one minus summation of x twenty one. Dito, naka-square sa loob. Ito, naka-square sa labas. So, yung 21 to my square. Multiply by n to left, 6. Multiply by summation of y square. Y square. 2, 4, 2, 5. 2, 2, 4, 2, 5. Minus summation of y 105 square and then close summation of y square 
So, meron na kayong value, kailangan na lang is to perform R is equal to So, 6 times 4, 6, 5 27,000 uh, 2,790 minus 21 times 1 and 5 0, 5 all over square root square root of 6 times 91 546 546 minus 21 square 441 441 so ito yung mumuntay na sa kapila 6 times 2425 so that would be 14,550 minus uh, 105 square 11,000 0 So, 546 minus 441 2790 minus 2205 So, that would be 585 over So, it's a square root Square root so 546 minus 441 multiplied by 14550 and Five four six. I square it Five four six minus four four one. So it will be one hundred five multiplied by. Uh, 0.961 Okay, so kailangan lang natin 2 decimal places So dahil ito ay 1, as is tayo sa 6, hindi siya magiging 7 So ang computed natin na Pearson R is R is equal to 0.961 
96. Ngayon, ano yung kinalaman nito ng result na to sa uh, number of hours studying sa result ng exam? So, pag nakuha nyo yung value ng views on R or ng R, kailangan nyo mag-refer sa Ayan. So, ito po yung strength of correlation. Again, ang R natin ay 0.96. So, saan siya kasama? So, meron tayo dyan plus 1 or positive 1 pala. So, that is a perfect positive correlation. So, sa Pearson R, walang lalabas na more than 1. Kasi pag sinabi natin na sa probability, pag sinabi natin 1, that is already 100% sure yun. So, kung positive 1, so that is called perfect positive correlation. Kung lumagpas sa 1, so i-check nyo baka may mali kayo sa computation. Okay? So, again, pag positive 1, that is called positive a perfect positive correlation. Sabihin, ganun kalakas yung correlation ng dalawang variables. Ngayon, from positive 0.71 to positive 0.99, so, strong positive correlation. Hindi man ganun ka-perfect, pero strong. And then, positive 0.51 to positive 0.70, uh, moderately positive correlation. And then, pa positive 0.41 to positive 0.5. So, meron lang na weak positive correlation. And then, pag positive 0.01 to positive 0.3, so, negligible positive correlation. And then, pag 0, ibig sabihin wala silang correlation talaga. Pero kapag negative 0.01 to negative 0.3, that is negligible negative correlation. Pag negative 0.31 to negative 0.5, so they have weak negative correlation. Pag negative 0.51 naman to negative 0.7, so they have moderately negative correlation. And uh, if negative 0.71 to negative 0.99, they have strong negative correlation. Pag negative 1, perfect negative correlation. So since ang R natin is 0.96, saan siya kabilang? Doon sa strong positive correlation. Yung positive 0.71 to positive 0.99. Kasi 0.96 ang nakuha natin. So it means there is a strong positive correlation between the two variables. So, there is a strong positive correlation between the number of hours spent in reviewing to the total or to the uh, scores of the six students. So, that is how to use the Pearson R.